Hi, my friends. How are you? So I have officially broken my fast. It is 5.04. I broke it about an hour ago. And yesterday I received a lot of questions about intermittent fasting, how I break my fast. And so I figured I would hop on and do answer a couple of questions for you guys. And if you are someone who is looking for a deeper dive, I would love for you to DM me and let me know. And then we can sit one on one and personalize what your fasting lifestyle could look like because everyone is very different. So I just wanted to go over a few key points, um, what happens to your body during during the different hours of fasting and then what you can eat or how you can break your fast. So first we'll start off with what happens to your body. So I typically do minimum 17 hour fasts. And what happens during that time is your body goes into fat burning mode, your sugar level is going down, you have an amplified state of healing, your body is dumping more glucose, um, your body starts going into autophagy, which uh, means it's starting to eat away at the surface level fat cells, right? Because when we don't give our body enough time to rest and digest, it doesn't go into that deep back of the freezer type of fat cells. So once we start going into autophagy, your body starts going into that um, deeper level of fasting. And so your cells can only replicate themselves if they're at the healthiest, highest state of health. So, and you can just thank your body. So minimum for me is always 17 hours. At 24 hours, you can actually do this every week. You can do one 24 hour fast every week. Uh, you reboot your intestinal tract. You're starting to build a new body. It makes new intestinal cells and it also repairs different body parts. And when you change it, and you're also changing the environment of your digest, digestive system, which I think is pretty cool. You're also changing the pH levels in your gut. So the your microbial, your microbes in your in your microbial biome is starting to spread out. So this is a good thing. It also starts to repair your gut, right? And that's what we definitely want. We definitely want gut repair. At 36 hours, your body is going into the fat garage, right? That's what I talked about, that deep storage fat. And it is fighting long stored glucose levels. So any glucose that was stored long ago, that's what happens at 36 hours. Your, your, your blood sugar levels take a deep dive. So when I tested my blood sugar levels before I broke my fast, it was at 71, which is, which is a really good place to be. Um, if you do this and you make this part of your permanent lifestyle, you can have weight loss every single time that you do it. And you start to release fat permanently, right? You also burn fat like crazy. So I like to do a 36 hour fast every couple of weeks just to unstick weight that's that just like not coming off. So now after this, I'm going to go through Christmas and New Year's, and then I'm going to do a 72 hour fast right after New Year. So if you are someone who wants to try it and to join me let me know and i can be there i can coach you i can help you and support you through the 72 hour fast when you do 48 hours you're actually giving your neurotransmitters a boost um your dopamine system your neurons all those things start getting a boost and it's really sending signals to your body to start moving faster and to be happier it's uh it makes more dopamine and it actually starts to repair your axons and dendrites. So all that is happening in your brain. So at 48 hours, you're really starting to improve your brain. There is also a biochemical cycle called the Krebs cycle. And this actually increases the ATP, which is energy for your cells. And it also starts to kick in anti-aging and antioxidants. Um, so that's where I'm gonna stop because I don't think anybody's ready for 72 hour fast. Uh, but like I said, if you are, reach out to me and I can definitely talk you through it. So what to do to uh, break your fast? Let's see what my notes are. All right. So this is a recipe or yeah, a sign of a recipe that you would follow when you're going over 24 hours. So I broke my fast today with some bone broth. I heated up some bone broth. I like the kettle and fire, I believe it is from Thrive Market, or you can also find it at Whole Foods. I really like that brand. And so I'm sipping it over for the next hour. And what that does, it actually helps to repair the inner lining of your gut, right? Because we just did like almost like a 
we took away stuff from your gut, right? And it's like kind of raw. And so we want to start improving the inner lining of your gut. So I'm going to drink this for the next 30 to 60 minutes. And if I feel good, then I'm going to go into a probiotic. So there's a couple of things that you can have. You can have um, uh, avocado with sauerkraut, hemp seeds, chia seeds, which is a really great way to break your fast. You can have some kombucha, make sure that it's sugar-free, no sugar added, or you can have like that kefir. So we want something with that probiotic state in there. And again, wait 30 to 60 minutes after you eat it. And then I'm going to have some lightly steamed veggies. Again, I'm going to wait another 30 to 60 minutes. And then if I feel great, then I can do some meat, whether it's chicken um, or turkey or fish, something light. If you don't feel that you're ready for the meat, then I would wait another couple of days or another the next day, and then you can have some meat. Pay attention to what the foods give you, right? If food is giving you energy, you can continue to eat that. If the food is depleting your energy, which is typical of sugars, carbs, cookies, all those things, then stay away from it, okay? Um, you want to eat food when you know that you're hungry, not because, oh, it's dinner time, not because, oh, it's lunchtime at work. And that's why I didn't want to break my fast while I was at work today, because then it would be, I would be sending a signal to my brain. Oh, you're scheduled for a lunch period now, so you should be eating. A couple of other things that I can just let you know. Um, so yes, when you break your fast, we want to have uh, prebiotic, probiotic, polyphenols. That's why I like to add some of that other stuff into my into my um, avocado with the sauerkraut. I don't do any calorie restriction. Um, I just eat within my window of eating and it's actually a really great way for me to just be eating. And so I know I can monitor my eating every single day. If you feel like you're having uh, muscle loss during your intermittent fasting, you're not. What you're actually doing is you are pulling the sugar out of your muscles. And so during that time, you should be having extra protein to build your muscles. Uh, what else? Oh, how to keep yourself in a fasted state. I know I'm kind of like all over the place right now, but I just, I felt like this was really important for me to come on. So black coffee, and you want to make sure your black coffee is clean. Um, I also add MCT oil to my coffee. The MCT oil, actually what it does, it gives your brain a boost and it keeps you sati satiated longer. Uh, you can have tea, which is really good. I usually have like a black tea in the middle of the day to give me some energy. And then I'll have a green tea later on in the day or in the afternoon to just kind of slow, slow myself down. I have a lot of water and I add some sea salt to it to help me uh, keep my electrolytes up. And the important thing is during your fasting, especially if you're doing more than a 24 hour fast, I would strongly recommend that you take it easy. Don't do a lot. Keep yourself calm um, because stress puts your uh, keeps your blood sugar levels high. You want to work out, you can, but I wouldn't exert too much because again, most of the time when you're doing um, weight training or high cardio or high intensity training, it raises your blood sugar level. So you definitely want to keep your workouts to a minimum. You can still work out, but don't exert yourself. Okay. Um, so those were just some big highlights about fasting. If you have any other questions, you can DM me, you can put it in the comments below. I hope I answered some of your questions. Like again, um, if you are looking for something a little bit more personalized, we can sit down and look at your, your daily schedule, what it looks like. And then we can find your optimal times for your intermittent fasting. All right, my friends. So enjoy Monday night tonight. And I'm putting this up also on my YouTube channel. And I'm also going to save it in my video. So enjoy. If you have any other questions, like I said, just put it in the chat. And I will be more than happy to answer them. All right. Have a good night.